Stephen's story is one that clearly had a major impact on Luke and the entirety of the early church. Um, he is, to our knowledge, uh, the first person who gave his life uh, for his faith uh, after Jesus had pa- had died on the cross. Uh, so this, in many ways, for the church, represented a real turning point where they realized that their preaching, their gospel, was going to bring more hardship uh, than just being imprisoned or uh, or uh, you know told that they're wrong or anything like that. That they could lead to their death. That it could lead uh, to them being killed for what they believe. And it's I think we often, especially in nowadays, uh, we often kind of miss just how uh, how difficult. And how, you know, kind of uh, how challenging that can be. Uh, You know, we we read these great stories and we read them and we see all the faith and everything. And we forget that these were still human beings. There was still likely a level of fear, uh, likely a level of uh, concern and worry. And so to respond in it the way that we see not just Stephen, but the entire church as a whole uh, is really quite incredible. Uh, Now, as far as lessons that we ourselves can take from this story, uh, which I have shortened down uh, very much for for us all, uh, you know, I've only shortened it down to the very last part where Stephen is stoned. Uh, but if you actually go through the entirety of it, uh, you know, he's dragged in front of uh, the Sanhedrin. He gives a big speech uh, where he literally goes through all of Scripture and points out how the Jews have been uh, horrible followers of God. Um, and then ends it by, you know, tying in, you know, with how you persecuted the, uh, the prophets. And now you also persecuted and killed Jesus, which is not OK. Um, and what actually leads to this is him claiming that Jesus has a level of divinity and he has a vision, which is what he's retelling to them. And that's just too much for them. But the thing to really take away is that sometimes, sometimes God is going to ask us to do very difficult things uh, that he's going to ask us to maybe even. Uh, for him, give up to our. I could even ask you know us to give our lives uh, in service of him. And you know, in, in America, that necessarily doesn't mean that we're going to be giving our lives. Uh, you know, literally that we're going to be you know dying for our faith. But you know, in other places of the world, that is a very real reality, and we should act, should approach our faith and our beliefs with that, with that composure and with that conviction. Uh, that you know, if even if this costs us our lives, uh, we will believe and and follow Jesus in the way that we've been taught and in the way that uh, we know and know to be right. And and that that it can be difficult. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that this is something that is very easy. Um, but it is something that we should pursue and go after because it is what's expected of us. You know, Jesus gave the command uh, to love him above all else, to have him be preferred over anything else in our life, whether it's our family, our friends, uh, our possessions, or even our own life, that we should be placing him above all of those things uh, in order to uh, correctly follow him. And we should all strive to the best of our abilities to do that. We should pray for the strength to be able to, uh, to do that. Uh, one last point, though, that I do want to bring up here, and it's, it's it's something that Jesus did, it's something that Stephen did. We should also be willing to pray and forgive our enemies. We should be willing to pray and forgive those who, uh, you know, maybe uh, come against us. And, and I know this is a little bit of a separate thing, but I think it is important to talk about, uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, a person who maybe has made fun of you for your faith or made fun of you for other sorts of things, you should take some time to pray for them and to really work to try and forgive them. Uh, because it is something that is expected of us as Christians. It is something that we ourselves should do because it does allow for, uh, you know, just the weight that kind of comes with that to be brought off of our shoulders. And in doing all of these things, you know, we're going to be better serving Jesus and better able uh, to further the kingdom of God coming into this world. Amen. And now I'd like to invite you all to join me for our last worship song today.